Hello there everybody, welcome back to the channel, Dodgy Gamer here, and today I'm going to answer one of the most asked questions I get across all my social media profiles. How do I manage a national team on Football Manager Xbox? But before we get into that, a quick reminder that this channel is your one-stop shop for all things international management on Football Manager, so if that's something you're interested in, make sure you hit that like button subscribe to the channel you get the bell on the notifications so here we are just loading up the start screen for the fm22 xbox edition a full disclosure here i'm playing this through the xbox game pass i'm playing it on my pc with the mouse and keyboard it's just not necessary to go through the hassle of recording directly from the xbox for this video anyway if you're unfamiliar with the xbox edition you might be asking what is the deal with international management on xbox can't we just start a new game and select an international team? Well, the answer is no. If we go to starting job here, you'll see we just get the option to start as a club manager or unemployed. That is because international management on Xbox edition must be unlocked. But there are two ways to do this. First option, we can go to the store and you see here it says international management unlockable. And we can pay 99p to have this available as a career option right from the start. But that wouldn't make for much of a video, would it? So today we're going to save you a pound and show you how to unlock the international management option through gameplay. As you can see here, it says we can unlock international management through winning a tournament. So I'm going to see how quickly I can get that done through my career. Now, one school of thought on this is to start off at a big club where success is likely to come relatively easily, like Man City, PSG or Bayern Munich. So after a few league wins, maybe some European success, you can get a top international job and try to win the Euros or the World Cup. Only international success with a major nation isn't always that easy. Just ask Demand More FM. I was heartbreaking, absolutely heartbreaking. So I've got a different idea. I'm heading out to India to start my career. But hear me out here, I'm not just trying to be some FM hipster, there is a method to my madness. First of all, the Indian National League is relatively small, and there aren't many fixtures, so playthrough time for those first couple of seasons will be less. Secondly, remember that our aim is to win an international tournament to unlock the international management feature, and Asia is full of different international tournaments. Beyond the Asian Cup, you've got these regional competitions, the East Asian Cup, the West Asian Championship, Southeast Asian Championship, and one India competing, the South Asian Championship. And most of these tournaments take place every two years as well, so they're quite frequent. And by the way, if you want a guide, more details on those tournaments, check out my shorts playlist, which covers all of them. So I'm thinking, do well in the Indian League, hope that India flop at the next South Asian Championship, or that they win it and manager Igor Stimak decides to go out on a high. Then I swoop in, take charge, and hopefully we stroll to an easy win in the next edition of the South Asian Championship. That's the plan, at least. So here we are, we've just taken over at Mohun Bagan. No real name fix on Xbox edition, sadly. But let's jump in and see how we got on. So here we go, it's day one in charge of Mohun Bagan, one of the top teams in India. I reckon with a few smart transfers, and an overpowered attacking tactic, we should be well positioned for the Indian or other Asian international job when it comes around. I wasn't expecting that. We see there are a couple of uh, international jobs available already. It seems we don't have to wait to be offered one. We can apply. Okay, so that didn't work. A bit too soon, I think. We're going to have to actually put some effort into this. All right, so end of season one, and it went pretty well. We won the Indian National Football League, broke a few records, won a few awards in the process. We got a couple of unlockables besides the international management one. So one is 250 scout reports, means attribute masking is now unlockable. And as we won the Manager of the Year award, we now have the all players interested unlockable if we want it. So if we go back to the store, we can see attribute masking and all players interested have confirmed as unlocked, but international management still locked up. Let's get back to it. So we've now fast forwarded to June 2022. The South Asian Football Federation Championship has just finished. India won it, so Igor Stimak was not sacked. And that win has made his job status very secure. So we're going to have to play a bit of a waiting game here. All right, so we've now gone through a whole other season. The World Cup's been and gone. USA came up. I thought I might have a shot at getting that job. It remained vacant for about seven months, and they've literally just turned me down. But we've also just had the Asian Nations Cup in the summer of 2023. And that's led to a few jobs opening up now. I've applied, as you can see, to Bahrain and South Korea, as they both have regional championships coming up very soon. 
So South Korea apparently think I'm not the right kind of person for the job. But Bahrain came in with the offer, so suck it South Korea. So as we can see here, it was a disappointing group stage exit for the Bahrainis at the Asian Cup that led to this job becoming available. And we've literally got 10 days and then we're in the West Asian Championship. Now winning this one will be tough, it's not going to be easy. Only one team can progress from this five team group. We've got Saudi Arabia in there as well. So let's skip ahead and see how we've got on. All right, well, just ahead of our final group game, we've been getting on very well indeed. We started off with a massive 5-1 win over Palestine, and then even bigger than that, if not the bigger scoreline, the bigger result, the win over Saudi Arabia. And you can see as the goals went in, we were 1-0 down. We came back to win 3-1 with goals in the 83rd minute and the third in stoppage time. We needed two late goals again to get the victory over Yemen, who are one of the weaker teams in the group, and now it's the final match with Jordan. They're the only team that can stop us at this point, so let's skip ahead and see if we actually win it or not. Oh, we didn't just win it. We absolutely hammered Jordan, turning on the style for a 6-1 win. So we topped the group with a 100% record, and now we play Kuwait in the final. So... Let's go and watch the match highlights together and see if we can actually get this international tournament win. So here we go then. We're ready for the final. We're sticking with the 4-1-5 formation that's worked to date. Bahrain have a decent squad. I mean, no outstanding players, but some decent, solid footballers. And we've even got a player on the bench called Bughammer. Oh, so here come the teams. Feeling a little bit nervous here. First ever Xbox game on the channel, but a lot at stake. We need this win. I don't want to go through a whole other two seasons of club football to try and win another international tournament. This is a great chance for Bahrain. West Asian Championship. Are we going to get off to the perfect start? Al Humaydan. Beautiful stuff. Beautiful stuff. We got a goal inside four minutes. So as we look at the replay, yeah, as I was saying, we don't want to go through another whole two seasons that would make this video way too long i mean um it's been two seasons of game time or two and a half seasons perhaps and two days of playing time as you can tell i changed my shirt part way through the video because we're on to a different day but hopefully this is going to be it and we're not going to get kuwait bouncing straight back here good save from fardan Oh, but here come Kuwait again, quite an advanced position, quite a lot of players they've got up there. Are they going to fashion a chance out of this? Another good save from Fardan. You know, this is not going to be an easy game by any means, and it would be typical FM. I'm sure the same applies whether you're playing the full PC version or the Xbox edition. As Saeed, oh, Saeed gets the second goal. I was just going to say, even on the Xbox edition, there could be a danger of getting FM'd, that we dominate the tournament and then lose out in cruel fashion in the final but it, mm, don't want to speak too soon it doesn't look like that at the moment though but for anyone wondering about the xbox edition i mean it's very similar to touch if you'd played that before in previous years as quite do get one back but no it's been disallowed good job referee that kind of stripped back version of the game like touch we got the shouts in here but no team talks Press conferences don't exist. It's just media questions through the inbox. Everything is much faster, much more streamlined. And I have to say, it hasn't been a bad experience playing through these two seasons. I've quite enjoyed the quick pace of it. I've quite enjoyed that run we had with Mohan Bagan. And I'm certainly enjoying the West Asian Championship so far. But we've still got a long way to go. Okay, let's get up to halftime with the clean sheet. If we get another goal out of this... Perfect. But if we at least keep the clean sheet, I'll be more than happy. Ooh, Mahoon. Very close there. Okay, half time. Halfway there. Not really living on a prayer. Let's get out for the second half. All right, so it's similar to the main FM game that quite often you have that action-packed first half and then not much happening in the second half. But we're running down the clock. We're at 2-0 Let's make one last substitution to kill some time. Can we get it done before the full-time whistle? There we go. We've done it. We've done it. We've won the West Asian Championship. We've won an international tournament. So if everything works as I expect, we will have international management unlocked right after this game. We will go and check it. But for now, let's just savour the glory 
of this win. It's always nice to win a trophy, even if it's just for a tutorial video. And here we get the inbox item. As you have now won an international competition, you have unlocked international management in new career games. So let's test this out. If we start a new game, a career, there we go. We've got the option to start as an international manager or to do a club and international management career. So maybe now I could go and manage India after all. All right, so there you go. Within two years of game time, we've won the international tournament and we've unlocked international management, saving ourselves one of these. Now I'm off to Poundland to celebrate. In the meantime, please make sure you've subscribed to the channel. You've liked this video. You get the bell on for notifications so you don't miss any of the other Football Manager content. And if you'd like to see more of Football Manager Xbox Edition on the channel, do let me know that as well. Perhaps we could take on one of the challenges as a mini-series, if that's something you'd be interested in seeing, let me know. But for now, thank you very much for watching. I'm Dodgy Gamer, and I'll see you again soon.